Hello and welcome to another computergargard.com video tutorial. Uh, this time on using the match function with the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Now the reason we would want to do this is because the VLOOKUP function on its own has its limitations. Uh, one of the limitations that the VLOOKUP function has is that the, uh, the column index number uh, for the data that it returns uh, is static and if you insert columns, delete columns, uh, move your data around the spreadsheet it is possible that your VLOOKUP function will break. What we have in the spreadsheet here uh, is a VLOOKUP function in cell H7 that's returning the product code, sorry, the stock level for the product code C132. So you can see in the formula bar here if you're looking at cell H4, the product code within range A4 to F9 and it's returning the information from column 5 as you can see that is 14 on the stock level as it returns the problem we have here is maybe at some point I need to insert a column somewhere within the middle of that range my VLOOKUP function will then break you can see it's changed now uh, automatically is looked to column G but it still returns column 5 which unfortunately now is the price of that product and I want the stock level. So what we're going to do we're going to look at using the match function with the VLOOKUP to create a dynamic column index number. So what we'll do within the VLOOKUP function we already have we're going to select column 5 in that third argument that column index number and I'm going to type match with an open bracket using the normal function syntax that would then ask me to fill a lookup value yeah what what do you want to find what do I want to find it's want to find that the stock level now it's handy here that the uh, the heading I've used just above uh, my function exactly matches the heading used within the the table array if you will so stock level so I'll put a comma in where do you want to find that? Well, I want to find it in this kind of range of headings along the top here. Okay. And finally, what is the match type that I'd like to use? Uh, I'm going to enter zero because I want an exact match. So that is an optional argument, but it's one I, I tend to tend to enter myself. I'll put a closing bracket to finish that match function. Uh, press enter now I can see that my my function now works correctly brings back 14 and more importantly if I go in certain more columns uh, it still works maybe go deleting some columns it still works it's dynamic it's always looking for what column number stock level is in so you can see at the moment it's in column number six it will happily find that. Uh, return the column number and provide it to the VLOOKUP function. It also gives us a bonus if you want to copy the VLOOKUP function. You don't have to change the column index number yourself. Looking at that function we just did, uh, one thing I will do is I'll make the, uh, the lookup array in the match function, I'll make that absolute so that does not move. And I can copy it across, and they'll happily then find the stock value. Because rather than specifying column 6 as it is now, uh, I'm using the match function. So when I move it across to the stock value, that in turn will look at that heading, try and find it within here, and return the column index number for VLOOKUP. Making it dynamic, uh, and a much better alternative to just typing in the actual number itself, uh, which is fixed. Uh, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, feel free to check out more of our videos um, at our YouTube channel for Computer Gaga. Uh, alternatively, find us on Facebook or at computergaga.com.